guys, it's Jeremiah from Revolution. It's the last day of Geneva Watch Days and we're going to take a break from wristwatches for a bit. I'm here today at the Hotel Beau Rivage in the suite uh, where Rouge is located. And I'm here today with the CEO of Rouge, uh, Mr. Amir Elo Teshan. How are you, sir, today? Very well. Thank you very much, Jeremiah. The best for last. The best? No, it's not, it's not <laughs> last. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know Rouge, uh, they make incredible mechanical works of art. Uh, fantastical wonders and what they make is music boxes it's a company that has over 155 years of history correct right? yes. since 1865 well done you know your history yeah. and i believe the rouge family starting from mr charles rouge exactly you know, moved the manufacturer to saint croix where it still is today today yes and i think today we would like to see some of uh, their novelties for 2022 and possibly we should start right here in front of us these music boxes. Excellent. Tell us a bit about. So thank you very much. Here. So um, as you well said, you know the company was founded by Charles Rouge, who was a watchmaker. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our uh, products actually have a lot of synergies with the watchmaking world. So um, the piece that you have here, uh, for example, has more than 250 components that are highly finished. Um, it was an icon iconic piece historically. The music, the, the snuff boxes that they ah, called okay. initially in the past. Yes. Um, uh, which in French is called tabatière, okay. and um, and uh, they have and some. And those boxes, you sniff some sort of. Salt, they used to right? yeah, tobacco. It used to be ah, for okay. tobacco historically, and then um, and then uh, uh, and then they, they you know uh, one watchmaker actually manufactured one of the snuff boxes into a sing mechanical singing bird, okay. and that surprised you know everyone that was looking at it. So so that became quite a historical piece that we had, and what we've done is a few years ago we revived the mechanism. So we added approximately 70 new components to make sure that the piece is solid, is, is robust. Um, we also developed uh, um, a new melody mm -hmm. uh, that is the Canary Bird melody. Okay. And the Canary Bird was, was very well known in, in Europe uh, where they were bred for the beauty of their, of, of their singing. Right. And I'll, sh I'll run a few. Sure. So, so here we have the collection, which is, um, which is the Enchanting Bird collection. It comes in three different color. Three different colors, and um, um, in in red, blue, and in black. Wow! It's gorgeous. I don't know if you do and what, this. And what are the panels? Are they sapphire crystal? Is it glass? So this is this is, is it's glass. Um, you have pieces of aluminium inside, some brass plated, treated. Um, almost everything you see in here has been done in house, treated in house. You have the leather. The leather alone takes almost a week to 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 do. Wow! And, you, and I think you were showing it to me just now. The leather it's so thin. You only use just the. The, the top, very the right? top surface, and they would have to really take a lot of time just to, to stretch, it, to out, stretch yeah. it out, make sure that it's all quite fine, and the smallest defect would impact because air would come out from it, and ah, and then it I wouldn't see. and then it wouldn't be effective, and it wouldn't give it generate the the, the sound that we were looking for. Ah, so it has to be really tight over the aluminum exactly. structure, right? exactly, to kind of uh, project the air through. Definitely, yes. Okay. And we have Stefan here, who, who later on you'll be seeing some of the mechanics and how he puts them together. Well, if we move on from, you know, the bird automaton, which has, you know, such historical significance for the brand, maybe we should talk about your link with uh, Motorsport. I think you have music uh, yes, boxes. Yes, yes, definitely, that, uh, yes. That are linked to, to uh, yeah. the golden age of uh, car racing. Definitely. So, so this year we were quite excited because during this fair, actually, we've launched um, uh, an F1 piece. Mm -hmm. We called it the Racing Legends. And it's uh, emblematic of the um, five most important vehicles in, in, in racing history right. of Formula One from the 1950s till today. 
and uh, we, we, we mounted that, the whole theme, around uh, a mechanism that we have, which is a random mechanical generator. Mm -hmm. So every time a different car will win, will, will win and you never right. know which one. So it has a playful element to it. Um, you can bet on the car that you like. Right. And uh, towards the end, once everyone finishes, you, you then have a celebration with the music where right. the music starts playing. Is it, is it possible to rig the machine if you are <laughs> if you're the it, owner uh, and you want to win? <laughs> That's a trade secret. You might oh, know uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, guys, it might maybe, be possible, yeah. So this piece comes in two parts. One is a website that we developed fully um, and that you can access from the QR code, whether it's a QR code on our card or a QR code underneath every vehicle. And then, and then once you've accessed the website, you can actually go in and, and look at the history of the car from the 1950s up until today the important figures during the time, the dominant cars, the number of Grand Prix, the technical specificities of the vehicle itself, a small anecdote of, of that uh, era and generation. And, uh, and then once you, you select a car that you like, you can choose it and we can go off on the races. Moving on to from the racing legends, I think uh, you also have something linked to you know uh, NFTs. Which yes, are all the so right now. so this year we, we tried to go out of our comfort zone a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, it's quite popular. It's it's a hot topic now. Yes, and we've launched um, uh, a new version of our um, racing symphony. Yes, uh, in the NFT color, which is like a magic color, bluish, purplish color, and uh, we've launched the eleven. And what we've done is when you buy a piece, you get along with it an NFT as a collectible. Okay. Um, and so we wanted to explore that territory a little bit and we've launched it during this time. Amazing. And I believe you, the owner can pick almost any song that they would like, right? Yes, that as, is correct. As the melody. Exactly. Right. Well, guys, Rouge doesn't only do music boxes on their own, but they are pretty famous for their collaborations. And I think you guys would know the music machines in collaboration with uh, MBNF. And yes. you launched a couple of pieces uh, this year, earlier this year. Well, tell us about it, Amir. Yeah, we worked, with, we worked with Max. Max is a great guy, very creative. And I think there's a lot of beautiful synergies between us and, and, and MBNF. And, um, and we, we've done an initial collaboration with MBNF. Uh, about 10 years ago with the music machines mm -hmm. and we thought it was time given a lot of people requesting these pieces it was it was time for us to revive that um, and maybe take on and, and, and do other things together so we've done the music machine one reloaded yes and that was launched in in May of this year yeah. um, and we we're very with, lucky with enough two songs from the most famous uh, sci-fi films of all of time course, right? Star course, Trek and yeah. Star Wars definitely definitely and uh, and uh, it, it, it had uh, a great success um, 
and especially you know with 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 MBNF and and what they do, it's just it's, it was, it's been a great collaboration. Might we expect more this year with with MBNF? Maybe next year. Maybe we hope next, next year? year. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, moving on from there, I think we'll look at the final piece from Rouge today. Um, there's something by the mantle. We'll show it to you guys later. What's that over there? It looks like a nautical theme. Yes, yes, definitely. So that, that's the winch. We call it the winch, and it is one of uh, our best pieces. Uh, it's an old piece that we had, and it's a piece that we continuously uh, have demands for. Mm. Um, it, you can see that it's inspired. The DNA is inspired a little bit by, from the yachting world. Um, uh, Riva boats, etc., and and we've used um, one of our one of our partners in Italy for the wood, and we merged it very well with with uh, with our mechanism, mm -hmm. um, where you can see that it is it is because because wood is <coughs> an alive element. It, we need to make sure that it, it fits very nice um, right. uh, onto the onto the the base and the mechanism. So so then it generates a nice acoustic sound. So you can I will show you excited to show you some of it. Yeah. The Rouge has a watchmaker here by the by the table, and he's going to be assembling a component yeah. of the the musical box. Yes, and we'll show that to you uh, as well. But they you can give it a try if you'd like. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Maybe <laughs> we can film some of that. Let's film some of that. Yeah. Yeah. What about this one? Okay, let's try All right, guys. Just is just um, a quick look. Oh, here's a quick look at you know what Rouge has to offer uh, for uh, 2022, which are you know these amazing historically significant uh, bird automatons, as well as you know their links to to motorsport and as well as collaborations with uh, MBNF. So if you're into watches, but you also like mechanical works of wonder, fantastic machines, you should give these guys a look. And I'd like to thank your audience for listening in. All right. Thanks so much, Amir. Thank Thanks you very much. Us. Thank Thanks you for speaking with us. It's a pleasure. We'll see you guys soon. No. <laughs> oh, so difficult. Yes. Yeah.